So following on from our work the other day, uh, when we looked at finding the circumference of a circle, what we're going to be looking at today is finding the perimeters of sectors. And so that's putting everything together that we've learnt so far. So before we can do that, we need a few terms that we need to understand. So the first part is that a sector is part of a circle. So any part of a circle, like this semicircle here or this quarter of a circle, is are called a sector. So to find the perimeter of a sector, first we have to work out what fraction of a circle that we actually have. The next thing we have to remember is that the angles in a circle all add up to 360 degrees. And here I've got a couple of special sectors. The first one I've got here is a semicircle because it's half a sector. And this next one is called a quadrant. And quad, meaning a quarter, it's a quarter of a circle. So now what we have to be able to do is we actually have to be able to find the perimeter of a shape that has a curved side. So from our work yesterday, what we were looking at is we were looking at the circumference of a circle. And the circumference of a circle we learnt was all the way around the outside of a circle. But here I've only got part of a circle that I need to be able to find. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at it and think about, well, I've got part of a circle. I can imagine my circle going all the way around. So this must, part must be a radius. So I'm going to use my formula, circumference equals 2 pi r. And I'm going to now divide this. And I'm going to divide by 4 because I only have one quarter of the circle. Just this part here. So this part here is only going to be one quarter of the whole circumference of a circle. So now I'm going to put some numbers in. So I've got 2 times pi times my radius of 8. And I'm going to divide that whole thing by 4. And if I work that out, I think on my calculator I get 12.566637 and so on. And let's do it to two decimal places. I haven't told you what to do it to. But looking, some rounding, this is a 6, so that means we must add 1 to the other 6, so that becomes a 7. So I get 12.57 metres. Now this is where the confusion begins, girls, because you're asked to find the perimeter, and most of you are just going to want to stop there. But this answer you've just given me is only this curved part. And remember, the perimeter is all the way around the outside of the shape. And this is a radius. And this side here has no number, but you should recognise that this is also a radius. So now, the so perimeter, because that's what we're asked to find, is equal to 12.57, which was our curved part, plus our two other sides. So we've got another side of 8 and another side of 8 to get our final answer. So if we work this out on your calculators, you're going to get 28 point five seven meters and that's how easy it is so let's have a look at the next one now some of you might want to pause the video and try it yourself what I have here is I have a circle and I have this part of a circle which is my diameter because you can imagine my circle coming around here so I'm going to use a formula circumference equals pi times diameter and how much of a circle do I have? Well, I have half a circle, so I'm going to divide by 2. So I'm going to do pi times 14 divided by 2. And if you do that on our calculator, you're going to get 21.99 centimetres. Now, this is only the circumference. So the only part this has given me is this curved part here. That's what this answer is, that curved part. But you're asked for perimeter. And perimeter is all around the shape. So it's a curved part plus the diameter. So it's 21.99 plus 14. And we do that on our calculators and we're going to get 35.99 centimetres. And there's my final answer. And let's have a look at this very last one. And this one looks a bit scary because I, clearly I have a sector of a circle, 
but it's not a half and it's not a quarter it's not three quarters and they're the only ones I really know but remember from the beginning I said a whole circle all of the angles inside of the circle add up to 360 degrees so to work out what fraction of a circle I have I have 40 degrees out of a possible 360 degrees. That's what fraction of a circle I have. So circumference equals the fraction of my circle I have times pi times my radius which is 4.3 times 2 because I'm using the formula circumference equals 2 pi r. There's my 2, there's my pi, there's my r, a little bit out of order. And this number here is the fraction of the circle. Fraction of the circle. So we can put that into our calculators, and our calculator is going to give us 3.001966, something along those lines. So to two decimal places, that's 3.00 centimeters. Now, remembering again, that's only this curved part here. And we're asked to find perimeter. And so perimeter equals the curved part, which is 3.00, plus the other two sides. Now, if this is a radius and this one here is also your radius, so we're going to add on the two radiuses, which is 4.3 plus 4.3. And we get 11.60 centimetres as our final answer. And that's all there is to it. So we'll work on this in class when I see you next.